Thank you, Nat. Fantastic. And thank you to all our panelists who contributed their insights from their particular regions in relation to trails around the world. And uh, so I'd like to immediately open to the floor to everyone who's joining us from, I think we're on about five different continents already. Uh, if you have any questions? And if you have a question in the uh, chat or Q&A uh, panel, um, if there are any um, panelists who are able to answer those questions, please type your answer in there. It'll just make it more efficient for us. But really open to the floor. If anyone has any questions for any of our particular panelists, please raise your hand. And um, yes, I, I think I, I've been really quite uh, astonished by the content of some of these presentations. There's sort of two primary trends that I'm seeing emerging here. Uh, one is the pivotal role that uh, trails are going to play and are playing as far as climate change goes and how that impacts uh, the active traveling and infrastructure from a transport perspective and also the role that trails are playing as far as health goes and how we go forward but linked to all of that I think the insight for me out of some of these presentations has been the immense amount of funds that have been made available in different parts of the world Australia America we've also had record amounts of funding made available through this pandemic Greece is another example so in a way, our task as a world family of trails is to make sure that we invest those funds and our, our custodians of those funds in a, in a manner that ensures uh, the sustainability of trails going forward, as Nat spoke to. So anyone who's got a question, please raise your hand and um, or speak up. Uh, please use the questions in the Q&A. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to raise your hands there. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to work through these questions and I see here we've got um, one question relating to the aqua trails and uh, I don't know if Sophie wants to uh, give an answer to that. Is the demand increasing, Sophie? What is the percentage? Uh, what, where, where is the question? The question is, how many users do aqua walking okay. in France? Okay, in France at the moment, uh, 15,000. 15,000, that's great. 15,000 persons uh, practice this aqua walking and um, on different ways. Uh, healthy way, uh, tonic way, uh, just uh, for the, uh, make just an activity. Uh, uh, outdoor activity and also on a competition way. Okay. So we have okay. three three uh, um, ways of uh, to practice aqua walking. Great, thank you, guys. Um, I, I just just a little bit of housekeeping here. As far as the Q and A goes, if you have a question, please just post it in the um, Q and A panel or uh, raise your hand. I think that's how I've got it. Um, and let's look at the next one. We've got a question here from uh, uh, Georgia, which is a question around emerging trends in trail marketing and promotion, uh, in particular around any kind of mitigation plan around the COVID crisis and recovery. So are some of us, our trails around the world seeing a, a, a change in language when it comes to marketing their trails post this pandemic or you know, moving towards a post pandemic new world? Any comments on that? I think that there's been a lot of comments, uh, a lot of kind of uh, understanding about the benefits uh, of walking trails as places to meet people. Whereas historically, I think that some trails have been seen as places to get away from everyone. They're actually during the pandemic, they've been one of the few places we can actually meet and be social. And I think so some of the language around that has been uh, quite important. But obviously, during the, uh, you know, the height of the, the, the pandemic, uh, it's been an interesting challenge because people don't know where they can go and how they can get there. And, you know, there's been lots of different guidelines and, and rules and things. And that, that's, that's been a great challenge trying to just communicate that the trails are open and they're available. But I think going forward, hopefully it will mean that people will realise that trails are you know, great places for being able to get away from it, to, to meet people and to, uh, just to just to feel better and reconnect with nature. Thanks, Julian. Maybe the next question is, is one for one of our panelists to respond to. Are there any specific concrete examples of a successful climate change remedial action that a trail organization has taken? If you're aware of, you know, has one of your trails done 
successful climate change interventions? I can I can just mention the the work that we're doing in in Costa Rica, where um, the the Sendero Pacifico is a trail that goes from the um, cloud forest in, in the continental divide down to the um, to the coast in the Gulf of Nicoya, and it passes through um, areas that are substantially deforested. Um, it connects the the major preserve of the Monteverde Cloud Forest Preserve with mangroves in the Gulf. And part of the trail project that we have in working with communities is reforesting along the trail corridor where it goes through deforested areas. And uh, we have some really exciting, successful projects. And um, those, uh, you know, that re reforestation directly contributes to increasing the capacity of that landscape to sequester carbon. So I'll, I'll list that as an example. Excellent example. Thanks, Nat. I'm going to do my best quickly because we are running up to the hour to address three questions in one shot. And, and those relate to, you know, how, how is the, the world's trails working together internationally? And I can say this, this summit is a wonderful example of how the World Trails Network is bringing trails from across the world together from multiple different cultures and, and countries. And that speaks to one of the other questions we had about how we're engaging with with UNESCO or the UN. And one of the things the World Trails Network is working on is creating an international World Trails Day as a designated UN recognized uh, event. And we're hoping to have that launched. Well, certainly by next year, we'll be championing that. So again here, when we see the challenges facing not only our planet, but trails broadly, the World Trails Network is an incredible forum and space for trails to really come together and find their voice to share with each other and to learn from each other. And um, with that, I'll go hand over briefly to Julian. Um, thank you, Julian. Thank you, Kelly, and thank you everyone for some great presentations. It's been a really interesting hearing the different perspectives from around the world, seeing where there are commonalities, but also seeing where people are addressing issues in different ways. I think the, the, the challenge for us going forward is We've got a fantastic network. We've got, uh, as Gallio says, we, we, we're talking amongst ourselves through the World Trials Network. We've got a conference coming up um, subject to uh, uh, COVID, um, hopefully in uh, Nepal in 2022. And we're working to uh, pull together a program of activity uh, so that we can have some really good conversations and discussions there. And, and picking up one of the the, the the themes that uh, was being talked through by Nat about sustainability, the sustainability task team will be pulling together a white paper and also revealing its sustainability toolbox at that conference. So that'll be really exciting time for us. And we're going to be working hard between now and then to make sure that we can uh, get as, as, as much input to those processes as possible. So, Gallia. Maybe just a, a, a final thing. I see there's a lot of questions in our Q&A. So what I suggest we do because of time constraint is that we will write up a blog, post this event, and we will answer those questions in that blog. So if we can record those questions, please, and um, we can then address all of them. So thank you, everyone, for attending today. Yeah, and uh, we, we will do that. And again, thank you for all the attendees, and thank you for everyone who's joined us. So uh, And have a, a fun rest of, rest of your day today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.